Greetings, Entities and Guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Kick Your Run Oven Break, where we're gonna go ahead and start up on the Champions League. And I know what you're saying. Well, aren't you running in the Grand Champions League already? Well, yeah, but here's the thing. In the normal Champions League, there's an entire new season where, uh, look at that. It's Zombie Cookie running it. Never have I thought Zombie Cookie would look so cool in a crown, but, uh, the Cheesecake Cookie season seems to be finally finished. I got some silver looking thing, which is not too bad, but, uh, I know for a fact I could do better. But look at these. And those were cool sound effects, which reminds me, I have to do this stupid thing. There we go, there we go, there we go. No one know why it does that every time, it's just a great glitch. Anyway, so we have three arenas that we can run with, uh, which I'm pretty sure you saw all the cookies showcased. And uh, for this first one, mm, is this a good team for this? I'm trying to look it up, because it seems like, yeah, cheesecake with birthday cake, sounds about right. With a guitar, also the cheese purse, and the guitar, apple, and blue thing. Well, I do have the blue thing maxed out, so I don't think we need the paper airplane. But uh, I do need this level 7, though, which I actually can't upgrade, so, uh, bam, there we go. Uh, alright, so, I guess there's nothing much else that we can do. I don't think I have any costumes for Cheesecake Cookie, though. Literally, I have nothing. I have no- I mean, I can get this, but, like, it's not gonna get- I, like, actually, no way, I can't get that. What am I saying? Uh, but both get the 10% coin bonus, if only- but of course, I can give a costume to Birthday Cake Cookie because I do have that stylish looking one. Uh, being this one, but I unfortunately don't have the Super Epic because I'm just never lucky enough to get Super Epics because of my plumbing costume luck recently. I'm not even joking, my costume luck recently has been so plumbing garbage. Oh my gosh. Thank you for the coins, I guess. Alright, let's go ahead and run this. All we know is that it gives 22,222 uh, coin points, so whenever we get coins, it's gonna be pretty good. So, these are basically the minimal levels that we need to have, so, uh, I guess let's give this a gander. Do we, do we have the purse? I'm making sure that we have the purse. Okay, we do have the purse. Okay, so I'm guessing the best thing that we could do is just collect all these. Uh, primarily, like, definitely go after the, uh, coins, but of course I need to go after, like, every bit of jelly. And, of course, that's being collected by that. Uh, definitely not gonna be my best run, I know that for a fact, because I need to go ahead and try and collect literally every jelly, I can't just focus on one or the other, but, uh, I want you to know, I've been looking at a few, like, games, like, on YouTube, like, not games that are literally, like, that you play on YouTube, not that stuff, I mean, just, like, gameplays on YouTube, and I really want to, like, make videos on some of the games that I've seen, the thing is, I don't know if I want to do just, like, raw, like, footage of those, or, like, just do the, uh, your local club stuff, which, by the way, once I get, like, two of these Summer Break videos done, I'm actually going to see if I can get a final finish with that Your Local Plub video, because it is so close to being done. That Your Local Plub short I released uh, recently, that was kind of like, how do I say this? It was kind of like an appetizer, just to hold you over. Even though the other, like, Your Local Plub video, at least being the Devil Tech thing, was, uh, also an appetizer. But don't worry, once I get this video done, it should all be fine, hopefully. Because there's just a lot of cool editing techniques I wanted to try and do for this one, and it looks really cool. Okay, don't, don't gotta focus on destruction, just gotta focus on even making it there. Uh, so, collect all these coins and get all these points. Get that. I didn't even get the big coin. Fantastic. Uh, and where the plub are we right now? Is this a lychee level? But, what is this song? No, this is a circus. Is this? Whose level is this? Is this for banana peel? I think it's for banana peel? Because I know it's a circus. There's. I don't think this is Ice Juggler. I think Ice Juggler, I've seen uh, their uh, her trial before, and I don't think it's like this. Uh, oh, I got the potion. Oh, nice. Lisa literally had to get that right before the uh, skill ended, or like it got cut off. But anyway, uh, let's just spam these. Happy birthday. Never mind. It's happy birthday day right here, because we got the bonus time. Uh, so as I mentioned, which I don't even think I mentioned, but usually when I do these videos for the normal Champions League, I'm going to go through all three levels, most likely once. Trying to get like a real nice run in just so I can be set up and so I can also get a good amount of gems because I happen to spend a good amount of gems trying to get like some crystals and uh, just basically getting my uh, re my necessities refilled if that makes sense. So there's all the happy cheery stuff, get that big potion, good good good. Uh, so far we, we're at a B plus which isn't too bad, I feel like we could do a bit better but I know that this is the end of a run and look at this, I'm pretty sure this is uh, Ice Juggler's Trial. I'm pretty sure, where the plug, uh, sure. Just suddenly just have everything turn to a coin, why don't you? Uh, I didn't want to hop into those balloons because I was afraid. Yes, I'm afraid that a balloon is going to damage me. I'm not even joking. Like, you think I'd be joking about that, but in this context, I'm being for real. What's real is real. Legit. Take that. Cool. 
Got a little ring, extra energy, and throw confetti all over the air. We're close to S rank, so hopefully we can at, least, uh, at the very least get that. Uh, so please, please, super close. Getting a good amount of coins right there. Nice, nice. Just focus on getting those coins, please. Uh, get those. Nice. Uh, I think I could just let those rain on me. Uh, whoop, 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 whoop. Nice. Get all these. Got the big potion. Okay, so we're actually getting very close to SS. Uh, that says, yeah. Yeah. Yes, you wanna. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, uh, that's a monkey. No, this has to be another part of Banana Peel Cookies. What was the trial I just ran in then? Because this is, this is definitely Banana Peel's trial. What the plug was anything else? Oh. Well, I'm pretty sure this is where we get, like, triple S, I think. Let's look at all this. Look at all this calamity. The speed up. Oh my gosh, it's going crazy. Uh, no? Really? How the plug could you even get... Oh, okay, I assume the only way is you need, I, I either need to, like, do better... Or I needed the costumes. But I don't even know if the costumes affect here. I'm being 100% honest. I'm not even mad that, like, I got, like, SS Plus and not Triple S. I'm more mad the fact that, like, I don't know how, like, I used the same Kami and everyone else got better. Because, like, these are the max stats you can have. So I have no idea. I really do assume it has to do with the costumes. Like, that's my best bet. Because, as you can see, in the over to the uh, leaderboard where you see where everything is, go up here. Costume, costume, costume. Like, even if they don't have one, like, literally. And that's... Never mind, someone has the same costume set as, uh, someone else. Maybe I should have, uh, collected more coins as cheesecake? I have no clue. The best you can get is, like, 420 million, so I, I ain't got a clue. I could definitely do better than that, though. Anyway, Arena 2, now we have, uh, playing Tangerine, Tanghulu, and Sauna Egg, where we get 5,000 points for all bear jellies. But, is that really the best, though? What are we looking at for the best? We have Tangerine, Tanghulu, of course, and Sauna Egg, with Bird, Bubble, and Bean. We have bird, bean, and leaf, but I can swap that out for bubble. Bubble wave show, yes. And, uh, I guess this seems like the best. Unfortunately, I don't even think I have either one of their costumes. I'd be impressed if I did. That's a no for you, and that's a no for you. This is where all my luck is gone. Down the drain. Let's go ahead and give this a run. Maybe we can get something good out of this, I'm not sure. Heck, would it be better to run with Sauna Egg first or Tangerine Tankulu? I don't know, but, uh... I'm just going to make sure I capture all this while being sure to collect the destruction thing. Nice. Uh, get that. Uh, if I could have gotten both, maybe. Uh, I only got one. I only got one out of the other, which I know that could have given me a little bit of an increase in points. But, as I mentioned, every single point matter. Yeah, that's definitely why that bubble wave shield needs to be, uh, or the bubble wave shell. I don't know why I keep calling it a shield. It's probably because there's actually an item that I think is supposed to, like, give you a bubble shield. And, uh, I just I try and correlate it with that because, you know, they're both bubbles. Probably cause waves to happen. And one's a shell and the other's a shield. So, there we can go. Anyway, even though I do have a tangerine shell uh, over me for some reason. Like a bubble shield. So, I guess that still works out. Uh, here I go. I'm just flying. Meow. Tangerine Tangulu just does not matter if there's things inside the tub. She's just gonna be like, oh, well, here I go. Just gonna go dive head first straight into it. Meow. And just does not care. Which, you know what? That's quite adventurous. We're proud of her. She doesn't believe really much in fear. She just believes in taking a bath and having a good time. All right, get these and continue forth. Because, honestly, I feel a little bit more confident with this one only just because, like, maybe it might be me, but since these cookies are, like, more new, I'm more accustomed to them. Like, I'm not saying I wasn't accustomed to, like, birthday cake. Like, literally, birthday cake was the first cookie, uh, like, I think it's not the first cookie I ever owned. Obviously, it would always go to gingerbread for that one. But, like, I think it was, it was one of the first cookies I was, like, su I really loved. Like, the design of the least. Because, like, the first one definitively was DJ Cookie. Design. I just love the rainbow locks. But, Birthday Cake Cookie with this awesome, like, Birthday Cake-esque design. I'm sorry, like, it's hard for a cookie to compare. But considering how Tangerine Tankulu and, like, Son Egg are a little bit more recent. I don't know, I think I just, like, I can control them better, if that makes sense. I don't know, we're so far only in... What? The, we're only in D+. Plus. I mean, don't get me wrong. We, all, we still have, like, a whole nother cookie to run with, but still... I'm surprised how we haven't gotten, like, further. But whatever. Hopefully we can get a little bit further the more that we run, which makes sense. But, I don't know. By the way, I hope you all having a good day today. By the time I'm recording this, I think it's August 6th. And I don't like to, you know, uh, do a thing where they're like, oh, I gotta break uh, the fourth wall. But I just like to keep you up to date with my life. Uh, I went ahead and went a, I saw an orthopedist because I want to go ahead and uh, try and get a track on what's going on with my hand. Because if you haven't noticed, uh, which is kind of hard to notice because I barely ever show my hand. Because you literally just see the screen of gameplay. 
But I had to take a little bit of a check over there because I wanted to see what was going on with my uh, right hand. Because, like, the ring finger seems to have, like, this weird numbness to it. It's not like it's exact numbness, but it's more like, uh, I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like the ring finger can't move as well, which the doctor, when I first went there, said, like, it had to do with, like, the joints and the tendons. So I went to get that checked out. Apparently, the, uh, the, hopefully I'm saying this correctly. I'm sorry. I just don't want to mess up my words and say it's something that I might regret. But, uh, because I was about to say pediatrician. I was like, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, but anyway, uh, pedometrist? Sure, whatever. Uh, but, okay, should have saved that, to be honest, just so I can hit obstacles with it. Like all these. Uh, but anyway, oh, I can destroy all those. And I'm going to go ahead and crank this. Why not? So I can still have time to use it for during the skill. Oh, that was a lot of points right there. Uh, but I went there and they said, like, apparently this is common. So what they're going to do is they're going to set me up with an appointment with a uh, neurologist. And what they're going to do is they're going to go ahead and, like, take my, specifically, not just the, uh, the, uh, my hand, but, like, the, my, the entirety of my right arm. And they're going to see if, like, they're going to apply little static shocks to it and see how it reacts. Because they're curious as to, uh, how the, uh, the joints will react. Which, it'll be pretty curious. I forgot, I gotta use this real quickly. Just so I can immediately use this skill before I run out of energy. I know I probably used it at a later point, but I just want to be sure. Okay, so we got the last blast. Hopefully we can get a better rank. High rank, high rank, high rank, high rank. Oh, look at those. Look at those. Look at it. There we go. That's right. Oh, we got top 15. So, did we get just SSS? Uh, yes. I think it... Does it go up to L+. Plus? I think it does go up to L+, plus if I'm being honest. But, uh... By the way, how long has it been since I've even seen a gold one of those bear jellies? Like, sheesh. By the way, I forgot. You can go ahead and get some rewards, because look at all these gems. 50, 50, 100, 200, 100, 100, 200, 100, 200. Look at all these gems. Literally, just from this top line, this is like 700. And then 800, 1,000, 1, 2, that's 1,500 just for the top row right there. Are you kidding me? And considering I got SS, I got even more than that. So that's basically more than 3,000 gems I just collected. Basically, by the time you finish Arena 3, you're going to have 5,000 gems just in your, uh, you know, in your dis at your disposal as long as you run good. Now, this is going to be the last level in which we have to run with, I think these are the correct things to run with, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Moon Rabbit at the front with Gim Kiki and also Headphones, Meteor, Pestle. We have head Headphones, Meteor, and Scarecrow. No, we need the Pestle. All right. Whew. Terrified? Yes. Stressed? Yes. Opening this to get rewards I won't use? Yes. Alright. Let's do this. The very last thing about this is that there's just no special rules. You just give it your all. Sounds about right when it comes to this level. So let's go ahead and get this cranked up immediately. And gotta bounce all over the place. I'm pretty sure this level was used in the uh, last season as far as my memory goes. I don't know. But whatever the case is, we're still gonna run like sweet little bunnies who are just very hungry. Which, by the way, speaking of hungry, I just had some dinner. Had some pizza and a burger, and it tasted good, and I gave myself a little bit of dessert. Which, what, my, what was my dessert? I was still being, I was being healthy, no worries. I had myself a few strawberries. Because let me tell you, strawberries are amazing. And uh, the thing about, like, my progress, reesh, my progress in diabetes is uh, I think something good to do is, first of all, you got to lower off on the sugar levels, of course. You need to make sure that you don't just have sugar, like, every single day of your life. But I think what's more important is, like, if you do envelop sugar in your diet, let it be natural sugars. Let it be sugars from, like, fruit or anything like that. Don't let it be, like, sugars that are uh, chemically manufactured from, like, sweet stuff like Hostess or anything like that. Because from what I heard, apparently, I think if you were to uh, just not eat sugar for, like, a good amount of time, apparently, fruits actually taste even better. I'm not even joking. They just taste even better, and I'm pretty sure... Uh, you actually grow healthier, obviously, which makes sense, which I got to be honest, I'm actually proud of myself. And I will be honest, I would be looking a lot more slim if I didn't have like a curve in my back just because, uh, you know, that's how my back works. Which I'm pretty sure that was just the result of like, you know, my back just being like, uh, you know, slouching all the time because like I'm just at the computer most of the time just doing these videos to edit and also record just so I can have a good amount of content for everyone to uh, admire and watch. So get all this and anyway. Just get down here, get down here, collect all those. I'm glad all these are being transformed into the jellies that I want. Because, uh, let's be honest. Why are you hiding in the bed? Y'all just exploded. Uh, but, like, I'm glad those jellies are being transformed into, you know, worthwhile jellies. Because, uh, and by that, I mean the moon rabbit jellies. Because, you know, more points, more matter. Uh, get that. Uh, leap under. Oh, okay, that, that was kind of tricky. I thought I had to, uh, leap under that one, but we're fine. 
That one, if they hop, they jump. If they walk, they walk. It's that easy. Of course, you can just follow the jelly path, but you also got to memorize the obstacles of, uh, or just the pattern of how everyone else walks. Because, you know, it makes sense. Boing, 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 giant bunny. Do you know how soft Moon Rabbit must be, like, in that giant bunny form? I know when they're, like, when they're in their giant bunny form, they turn into, like, an unstoppable monster with an un unstoppable hunger. But, like, they must feel like such a squishmallow. Like, I'm sorry. Moon Rabbit literally must be- Can we get that? Can we get, like, a Moon Rabbit, like, squishmallow? At the very least, like, a squishmallow cookie run collab? Do you know how adorable that would plebbing be? I don't care what anyone says. That would be cute as pleb. Like, sheesh. Alright. I'm just gonna go- Aw, oh, I, I was trying to do, like, one last jump there, but it won't let me do it, which... You may be wondering, like, does that really matter? Trust me, yes it does. Yes, it does when you're trying to get, like, the most amount of points. You need to get as far as of, of a distance as possible. Uh, slap, <laughs> slap right in the face. And, uh, keep him getting these. And now, yeah, we're, we're at Gim Cookie, and we're near, we're at 900 million points. If you want to go ahead and just, like, get points for, like, your, uh, bear, like, your, su not surprise bears, but, like, well, you can't do this su for surprise bear, but, like, if you want to just go look, get those, uh, little gem things from uh, the bear things that you have to get for getting points y you know the things i just opened up uh but like just run in this level like sheesh you just get so much all right but uh, who the pleb is the guy if the wrong arrows behind me i'm trying to run peacefully here i'm just running over the entirety of your village just trying to get points is it that hard to settle up bam that's what you get i'm already stressing enough now that like there's some Looney maniac trying to shoot all these arrows at me. Which, by the way, over a billion points. Now back, now back to peacefulness. I think this is nice. Get that, get that, get that. Nice. Smoothly got every single one of those. And get that. Smoothly got every single one of those. Get that, get that. This is beautiful. This is nice, elegant, relaxing. This is the longest bonus time I think I've ever ran in. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and just run a little bit more. Go a little bit down here. Nice. Rainbow bird jellies. Rainbow bird jellies. Rainbow bird jellies and rainbow star jellies. Perfect. That was like a 330 to 40 million points right there. And we still have a bunch of energy to uh, keep running. At least there are a decent amount since I just got that potion. And when I was going to say that, I meant to say like we still have a lot of jellies to collect because like there's still a good amount. There's a possibility that our skill could activate again if there's any sort of like extra potions in front of us. I don't think that's the case. And if it is, it might have to rely to like one final like super lucky jump. Because like I'm going to need like a good amount of like jump distance if I'm going to be out. That was almost a giant fail. I was literally saved by the skill. You ever heard of the uh, show like Saved by the Bell? I was literally saved by the skill. Uh, I'm just gonna activate that real quick. Uh, there we go. I, I even got L plus. Jeez, what was my percent? Top Nine point nine. I got top ten percent. That was my best run by far. Yeah, I got the extra L pluses, which I can get all this stuff with a tight. Ooh. Zombie Arena Master. Add some flair to Nick. I'm the master of the zombie arena. What? That's awesome. Okay, well, I didn't expect to do that. Well, but okay, we did it. All right, so with that being said, uh, oh, look at that. That's so cool. Earn L plus in Arena 3 during the zombie season. Oh, that's nice. You even got the little zombie marking. That's awesome. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to end the video here because, like, we ran through all the arenas, so we kind of did all we needed to do. And so far, we're in the top 30%, which that's an Emerald Trophy. That's really cool. If I just go ahead and, like, maybe do a little bit more better and, uh... I'm not, I'm not sure what would be the best run, uh... I wish I could tell you my, uh... Total. Like, on the leaderboard. I wish I told me my percentage. Uh, top 17.5, 10%, 9.9. If I did a little bit better on this one, I think I can get somehow an even higher ranking. That'd be really cool. But that'll take a little bit of training to do because I barely run with Cheesecake Kiki, but that'll be for later. So, with that being said, if you enjoy the video, then please be sure to leave a like on it. And also share the video with your friends if you enjoy my Kicker Run content. And if you enjoy my content in general, then why not subscribe and also hit the bell icon to be notified of whatever I do in the future. And also down below in the description, you'll see links to all my social media, including a Twitter post where if it gets 10,000 likes, I can get the Kicker Run YouTube staff for absolutely free. There's also a link to my Discord server called the Hype Beast Hub, a link to my merchandise where you can buy stuff to represent the channel, and lastly, a link to my Kofi over just $1 a month. You can see exclusive content that you normally seeing this normal YouTube channel. But above all else, I will see you and Titties and Guardians in the next video. Hail the hype beast.